Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna be showing you how I got this makeup look. Very fall, I was just feeling kind of dark and vampy today. Christmas is almost here, so it's time for Christmas looks and I'm so excited because Christmas is the best time of the year. I can't wait to go shopping and get a Christmas tree and decorate it. I'll be Snapchatting it for sure, so make sure you're following me on Snapchat. Thumbs up if you think Christmas is the best time of the year. I feel like my intros are always kind of the same, so I'm gonna try to start asking a question at the beginning of my videos that you guys can comment and let me know the answer to down below just so we can like talk more and stay connected. But today's question is gonna be, what is your favorite thing about holidays? This also kind of lets me get to know you guys better and what you guys like, but let me know down in the comment your favorite thing about holidays, whether it's a certain food or a certain tradition you have with your family or your friends or just anything, a song, Christmas song, let me know down in the comments. My favorite thing about holidays is the holiday cheer and spirit and music. I just love how everyone's in such a happy mood and it's just Christmas music and just, you know, the vibe. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the makeup tutorial. If you guys want to see how I got this look, then just keep watching. I'm going to start by priming my eyelids with MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. This is what I normally do. You guys know the drill. I'm going to use a Morphe G... <laughs> What's it called? G13. Just gonna take it all over the eyelid and this is gonna create my base and it also cancels out any pigmentation on my eyelid. Do you guys ever get just like random little brush hairs on your face? Like I don't even know where that came from. This brush doesn't even have hairs that color. The eyeshadow palette I'm gonna use today is the Morphe 350 Matte Palette. I love this palette so much. I love all the 350 series. Um, I get a lot of requests to use these in tutorials because I know a lot of you guys have this palette and this palette is just full of neutral matte shades. The palette comes with 35 matte eyeshadows, which is insane and they're really pigmented, really good quality and it's only $22. And then I do have a coupon code, it's just Amanda. You can use it on anything on Morphe and then you get even more off of this. First, I'm gonna take this cream color right here to set my eyeshadow base. The first color I'm gonna take is this light brown shade right here. I wanna keep it a very neutral color. I'm just gonna apply this back and forth in the crease as the transition color. Next, I'm taking this chocolate brown shade and I'm gonna apply this right in the crease. Next, I'm gonna take this espresso brown shade and this is going to be the lid color. So I'm gonna start with this lid brush, applying the color all over the lid. Now I'm gonna take the color on this crease brush to start buffing out and blending the browns together. So I'm just starting on the outer corner. The brush that I'm using is a Morphe R39. This has been my current favorite crease brush. I'm also gonna pat some of this color all over the lid. I love how rich and smoky this brown color is and you can see how smoothly the pigment applies. I'm gonna go back to my fluffy crease brush with some of the lighter brown, buff the lines out more. Now I'm gonna take a brown eyeliner and put it right on the lash line and kind of smudge it a little bit just to add a little bit of a line for the falsies. I'm taking some of that espresso eyeshadow. I'm just going to smudge out the liner. Now I'm gonna curl my lashes, add mascara, and then we're gonna go in with false lashes. For my lashes, I'm gonna be using the Samantha Style from Blinking Butte, and the lash glue that I use is House of Lashes Lash Glue. It's really great, it smells like flowers, it's latex-free, and it's really gentle. I just apply about that much lash glue and I let it sit on the band for 30 seconds and let it dry. If you've ever sat there trying to get your lashes on and you can't and it keeps coming off, let the lash glue dry a little bit longer because the tackier, the easier it is to stick. I put it in the middle of the band, push in the center of my eyelid, and then I adjust the corners. And it's okay, um, it's okay, girl. Hey, mom, I'm filming. I'm watching Judge Judy. You're watching Judge Judy? Hey, do you want to say hey to my YouTube channel? Hi. Uh, we'll talk tomorrow on the day, okay? 
Okay, I love you. I love you too. Be careful. Okay. Bye bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. I love you too. Now I'm gonna start working on the face. I'm gonna prime my skin with the Cover FX Custom Drops. I'm gonna use the SPF sunscreen and I'm gonna use the oil blot drops. I'm just gonna mix them together. I'm using a Kiehl's Serum at night now that has retinol in it and retinol makes your skin more susceptible to um, the sun. So I really have to make sure that I use um, sunscreen during the day so I don't harm my skin, but I'm just gonna mix them on my hands. And I always start in the center of my face and then blend outwards. For my foundation, I'm gonna be using another mixture. I'm gonna take the Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drops in the shade Moonlight and the Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. Today I'm using the shade 5.5 in this. I know this foundation is expensive, but it is my favorite high-end foundation because it looks so great in photography. If you could invest in one high-end foundation, I would say the Armani Luminous Silk. Um, it's just my favorite. This foundation is more of a light coverage, it's light medium. So sometimes I like to build it up a little bit and I mix the enhancer drops into the foundation because it gives my skin more of a glow. And I'm just using my beauty blender. This is my favorite tool to apply foundation. I couldn't tell you the last time I used a brush for my foundation, unless I'm using a stick foundation. I'm gonna let my foundation set, and as it sets, I'm gonna go ahead and conceal and highlight. I'm gonna take the Naked Skin Peach Corrector from Urban Decay first and apply on the inner corners of my eyes just to color correct the darkness. And then I'm not gonna blend it out. I'm gonna go ahead and put my concealer right on top of it. And to conceal today, I'm gonna use the LA Girl Pro Conceal. This is in the shade Creamy Beige. It's one of my favorite concealers and it's so affordable. I always get mine online, but I'm just gonna go right on top in a triangle underneath of the eyes and bring it outwards. This is going to lift the face and highlight. Also gonna go down the center of the nose, between the brows, and a little bit on the chin. And I try to get the concealer pretty close to my nose. It also can make your nose look a little bit slimmer. Again, I'm using my Beauty Blender to blend this out. On the inner corner, I'm gonna take a little brush just to buff. I feel like a lot of times it looks like I'm really hard on this under eye area, but I'm not pressing very hard at all. Now I'm gonna dip my Beauty Blender in this setting powder from Laura Mercier to bake and set this area. And then I take the excess powder everywhere else I applied concealer. I'm gonna let that bake and I'm gonna go ahead and fill in my eyebrows. I'm using the Anastasia Brows in the shade Dark Brown. I have been proud of my brows lately because they are growing a little bit thicker. I'm not doing anything different, so I don't know why, but uh, I have such an issue growing my brows out. I feel like I went through so many years of over plucking. It's just a mess. Brows matter. Once I put my brows on, I feel like a completely new woman. Funny story, I did have this guy the other day when I was out eating say that my brows were on fleek and I was like, oh, thanks boo boo. But really, if a guy says your brows are on fleek, he's a keeper. So I'm just gonna dust off all of this excess powder since it's been baking for a couple of minutes. So some of the lash glue didn't dry completely clear on this eye. So I'm gonna take a definer brush with some of that dark chocolate lid color and just press it right over the glue to cover it up. So now that we're back up close and personal, I'm gonna work on my lower lash line. I'm gonna take my powder brush and a black eyeliner. Um, I know I showed this trick before, but I like to hold my lower lash line with this brush so that way the heat in my fingers don't mess up my concealer. And I'm just gonna start by applying this black coal in the waterline. I'm also gonna take it in the upper waterline. 
I'm gonna go back to the lid color and start buffing it with a pencil brush on my lower lash line to start building up the intensity. And as I smoke it out downwards, the colors will get lighter. So my next step is to go back to my crease fluffy brush. I really want this smoked and dramatic. That's just the look I've been going for lately. So I put some of that mid-tone brown and I'm just going to start buffing this and bringing it downwards. I like to squint my eye so it creates a little cup and that way the brush just fits in. And I'm using just the very tip of the brush. And I'm bringing it up on the outer corner so it connects with the lid colors. The 350 unfortunately doesn't have a black shade, which is the only downside. So I'm just gonna take any black eyeshadow. This is from Kylie's bronze kit and I'm gonna take my it's a finer brush and apply it right against the lash line. So I'm going as tightly as I can. I want a bright inner corner, like I want to blind you with it. So I'm gonna take MAC Nylon Eyeshadow for the inner corners of my eyes. You can see the shadow is well loved, very, um, very well loved. So I'm just gonna pop this right on that inner corner. I want it to be like two little stars on the inner corners of my eyes, you know what I'm saying? Like bam. I'm gonna take the beige, the first color in the Morphe palette and highlight the brow bone. I'm gonna be using the Makeup Forever Pro Bronze Fusion. I think this is the shade 30, but mine has worn off the back because I've used it so much. And I'm gonna take this Morphe brush. It's a Morphe M437. And I'm gonna start with the hollows of my cheeks. I'm also gonna go on my temples. And this bronzer looks very skin-like. That's what I like. It just kind of melts into the skin. It doesn't look powdery. You don't just see it sitting there. It's really great. I'm gonna take my NARS Eda brush for the sides of my nose. And also right there. I'm gonna bake right underneath of my contour to make it a little bit sharper. I'm gonna go in with NARS Luster Blush. It's an apricot shade with a little bit of a sheen and my Morphe M530. It's stained from my Cheshire Cat tutorial when I use the liquid lips, but that's okay. It's still my favorite. So I'm just gonna go like this and focus it on the back part of the cheeks. And I'm also gonna put a little bit right there. To highlight my cheekbones, I'm gonna take the Makeup Forever Pro Light Fusion, their new highlighters. This is in the shade one, it's the lighter shade. Um, they also have a gold shade, which is this one, so I'll show you the difference. And I think I'm a little bit too pale for the gold right now, and I kind of want the highlight more to reflect the color on my inner corners. So I'm gonna go in with this shade. I'm taking a Morphe R36, my favorite highlight brush. And I make this little like face to like find the tops of my cheekbones. You know, if the power goes out tonight, we'll be good because my cheek highlight can light the way. I'm gonna spray MAC Fix Plus all over my face. I always like to do my lip color last, so I'm gonna go ahead and add mascara on my lower lashes, change, do my hair, and then I'll come back and we'll finish with the lip color. For my lip color, I'm gonna do a dark, deep, fall blackberry shade. Now this look would be beautiful with a light, soft pink, but that would just be safe. That would be like what I would typically go for, but today we're gonna go dark. So I'm gonna start by lining my lips with MAC Sore Lip Pencil. For my lip color, I'm gonna take Hutch from ColourPop. It's a deep blackberry plum shade.
So this is the final look. I really hope you guys liked it. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did. Um, until my next video, you guys can always follow me on my other social media platforms. I'm on Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, Facebook, everything. Come holla at your girl. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. You guys, I am like so clumsy today. For my eyeshadow, I'm gonna be using the Morphe 350. Oh. First, I'm gonna take this white shade to set my eyeshadow. While, while my foundation, while my foundation sets, while my, for my eyeshadow, for eyeshadow, the eyeshadow, the eyeshadow, the eyeshadow,